Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How are you all doing? Hope you're all fine. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos coming out soon. Let's get right into the video. So most of you guys on PC are getting pretty frustrated while having that little loading screen bug in Call of Duty Warzone that can pretty much ruin in your first game of the day. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix all these loading screen issues and also every single dev error which is said to be something like 5518, 6068, 6036 and so on. But first you will need to close battle.net completely if it is open and this is how you have to do it. And then go to the task manager and close its update managers. So the first thing that you will have to do is to open your file explorer. Then go to the documents, then open the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder. Then open the players folder. And after that, you have to open this config.cfg file in your notepad. When you have it opened, scroll down until you find this code. You will notice that there is a number one written just in front of it. All you have to do is to select it and type in 2 with it. That will make it 12. And then you just have to go to file and click save. And then just close it. Then you can see right here in the same folder, there is a file named ppsod.dat. You simply have to delete it. Close the file explorer and let's go to the second step. Now on your keyboard, hold the Windows key and press R. A small window will pop up. Type in percentage, program data, percentage, and hit enter. And this folder will open. You have to navigate to this Blizzard Entertainment folder and simply delete it. Then go to the NVIDIA Corporation folder and open it. Here you will see another folder named as NVCache. Open the folder and simply delete all the cache, but be sure to close all the running applications in the background before doing so. When it's all done, simply close the explorer and let's go to the next step. Before going to the next step guys, please be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any of the new videos. Now you will need to update a few things and here you will also need the GeForce Experience application to do so. If you do not have this application then I will leave links in the description below. After you have installed the GeForce Experience application simply open it and log in if you have an account or you can sign up for free. Now what you need to do is to navigate to the drivers option and then click on check for updates. If there are any available, be sure to have them installed as soon as possible. Now close the explorer and let's move on. Now open your start menu and type in update and select this option that comes up. After that, simply click on the check for updates option and wait. If there is an update available, be sure to have it installed. When you're done with the Windows update, simply close the settings and let's get on with the next step. Now you will have to open the battle.net executable. After it's opened, go to the options and open game settings. Here again, go to the game settings and here on the right side, check that small box saying additional command line arguments. A typing line will appear below and type in dash D3D11 and hit done. And again, open the options tab and click on the show and explorer option. It will open a folder and here you have to open the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder. Once you're here, scroll down until you find these two executables. Right click on the launcher executable and click on its properties. Then go to the compatibility tab and down here check the small box that says 
run this program as an administrator. If you are having a few issues with your game performance, then you can also check the box that says disable full screen optimizations. After you're done with this, simply hit apply and click OK. Now do the same with the Modern Warfare executable. When you're done, just close the explorer and go back to the battle.net. Now if you do not have an icon on your desktop of Modern Warfare and you need it, simply click on the create a desktop shortcut option and you will have it on your screen. Now open the battle.net executable, go to the options and click on scan and repair and then wait for it to complete. Once it is done, you will now be able to play your game without any interruptions. For now, my game is updating, however, I can tell you when you open your game, do not directly click on the Warzone option, go to the options on the left and open the graphics tab. Scroll down and change the two options, Cache Spot Shadows and Cache Sun Shadows. Try enabling them if they were disabled and disabling them if they were enabled. These were the options that caused the game to crash during Season 2 and 3 of Modern Warfare and now since these crashes are reappearing in Season 4, we can try these steps to help the game run smoothly once again without any crashes. Just after changing these settings, simply restart the shaders installation so the game can run smoothly every single time. And this is it for this video guys. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to play with me, you can add me in the games of which I have given my names in the description below. You can add me on social media for further detailed questions. Please be sure to like the video and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.